Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Islands of Insight for, uh, for some more, for some more insight, you know? We found this, we found this excursion, let's, let's excur. So this is going to be one of these find the relics situations. And, aha, uh -huh. there's a lot of nooks and crannies around this building. Okay, it seems to just be within the building though. Uh, probably we're going to want to get up on the roof in a second here. Just trying to make sure that we're looking on both sides of all of these little statues, though. There definitely are some noises. Things are making noises sometimes. And I feel like those noises are in the environment. Like, I feel like they're, they're positional audio, but I don't exactly know how to interpret them. Yeah, that's a pretty decent spot for one. It's like uh, it's like Easter eggs. It feels like an Easter egg hunt with your parents. If your parents were sort of like, you know, um, incredibly powerful magical gods or whatever. All right. Let's use our super jump. Ooh. That really is probably more jump than it needs to be. Think Outside the Sphere is an interesting name. We're gonna get complimented every time we do that because all it knows is that we're, we're leaving and coming back. It doesn't, it, it knows not whence. Well, that's just a hidden cube. Apparently there's gonna be a fair number of them here. According to our uh, our goals tab over there. Okay, so there is a way up onto the roof that doesn't involve a super jump. So it looks like that uh, that fallen uh, that fallen stone over there would have gotten us up here. How do you get into this little area though? Okay, I have to admit, I'm a little surprised they didn't put one back here. Oh, I think that sound is the hidden cubes, actually. Yeah, and they don't make it anymore once you, um... Once you have collected them. That makes sense. So no, maybe this isn't a way up from the temple. Oh, I guess, okay, if you had come outside, walked around this side of the temple, then you could have seen the doorway and then from the doorway climbed up. Okay, that's interesting. Well, I don't imagine they'd put another one in this room, right? That seems too easy. But, we are missing one. Huh. Not sure why we suddenly went outside of our body there. Okay, not on top of any of the posts, it seems like. Not up in the tree. At some point, there's going to be one that's up in a tree. You know this. And then who will be the big idiot who's always looking in the trees? Well, I guess the way I worded that, it's not very triumphant, but me. But the point is me. But, uh, but we'll be happy about it this time, is where I was going with that. Instead of, us, instead of all of us being just like a little bit embarrassed to admit that we know me. Hmm, well. Oh, there's another little interior area here. Sorry, let me just have a little drink. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, I hear that hidden cube sound. I think it's on the other side of this wall. And a Mirabilis. Hooray! Um, stuff is happening, but hold on. Oh, that did something. In a hidden pentad puzzle, the relics always lie inside the sphere, but you can walk outside the sphere while looking for them, and sometimes you may need to do so. Yes, fair enough. Thank you. So that is an enclave complete. It says, but isn't this another puzzle? Yeah, there's a secret hidden pentad, except it's not that secret. It's right in front of me. Well, I guess let's do this one, too. And that means going back over... I will say this is maybe not my favorite thing, like multiple hidden pentads in the same place, because it means searching the area, like all of the same spaces repeatedly. This one is certainly situated lower on the temple, but that doesn't mean there won't be anything on the roof. Can we... Okay. So this goes down here to a way to leave this place at a very high speed. Probably not the thing we want to be doing right this second. Uh, those hidden cubes, are le they're legitimately hard to see even when you are right up on top of them. Uh, okay. So when they say triple jump to activate your wings, they don't mean like a, like a Mario 64 triple jump. They mean do a double jump and then hit jump again, which is a perfectly reasonable way to interpret the phrase triple jump. But for some reason, it was not the first one I thought of. Okay, well, let's try going upstairs a little bit. What is the best way to do that from here? Well, I mean, probably it's this. Yeah, this actually, this one does not cover a very large portion of the temple as a whole. These are, uh, these are pretty once you've finished them. And again, like, the idea of a puzzle that is designed to teach you a particular way of engaging with that kind of puzzle is, um, it's far from a new idea, right? Like, that's a, that's a thing that pretty much all puzzle games do, but they wouldn't generally be so explicit about it. You might get, like, the thing where the name is Think Outside the Sphere. But you probably wouldn't get a dialogue box. That's very cute. Does the does the lower set area contain any of the any of the sunken area on this side of the tunnel I, or the the temple I wonder? Okay, not zero of it in fact. Also, I have to say, I do like the music here quite a bit. So... There's more hidden boxes. 
In the long course of time, loneliness draped around me like a fog. It was so blinding that I did what no auroral should ever do. I touched the edge of the endless known. It nearly destroyed me. What is, if it's endless, how does it have an edge? Also, friend, what are you talking about? Alright, let's see where this goes. Well, there's my wandering echo. Aha! Yeah, okay, so that you really gotta dial in on those sounds. Okay, I'm confident that there's not another one on this island. Wait, where'd it go? Did it reset already? Uh, no, it just wandered off. I guess that's what they do. Shoot. I didn't see where it went. I was in the foliage. No. Um. Crud. Well, ah, okay. Okay, apparently my cough button is the, uh, is the button for laying down one of those nodes. That. Nope, that's making more of them. Well, I don't know. Hopefully that's not distracting to anybody. All right, let's try that again. All oh, right, I have a sprint button. I should be using it. Go. Ah. Uh, it doesn't seem to be up here. Did it run to the other side of this room? No, I like we completely lost sight of it. When it went behind the, uh... Well, that was the sound of the reset. We're getting it, though. We're also getting a little bit of latency pull back here and there. All right, try to be careful here. Okay, I saw I saw the tail of it go over the building that time. Okay, that one really, uh, really took us for a trip. So, we did hear at one point one more, uh, one more cube somewhere in this building. And it sounded like the cube was in a wall somewhere, but... I thought I heard it. Uh, 
check these little side areas. Nope, I don't think so. It must have been in the other one. I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah, I really could have sworn I heard the sound. It's possible that the one that we heard the sound of, even if I am right, is one that we uh, got already. That we figured it out from the other from another position. So they are very well hidden. It feels like. Huh, well. Yeah, I feel extremely mobile now. We don't have to get it, it's fine. It just, it's gonna bother me a little bit that we got everything except the one thing. Aha. That was more about just like the logic of where could it still be than anything else. Cool. All right. Back to turn in our quests or whatever. Effigy of the Ancient One. Okay, that is a lot of, uh, this a lot of that thing. So, ten puzzle boxes, three sentinel stones. I mean, I feel like uh, sky drops are really easy to do, but then also we've done a lot of them recently, so there might not be all that many left around here. Hidden cubes are tough. I guess this one's probably the easiest of these. But, since we just got all that currency... I do feel like this is maybe a good time to hit some upgrades. So the chromatic sky drops thing has a couple of different versions. Increases the number of foresight hints available when solving logic grids. I don't want to sound like an asshole or anything, but I don't know that we need that. Hold left control to highlight the region. I don't know how... I guess, I don't know, that doesn't seem that useful. What if we just took get more numbers from your numbers? I love it when we get numbers. Look at all the sparks and mastery we can earn. And then like, yeah, I would love a perfection bonus. I would love to earn a perfection bonus. Are we ever going to actually get that? I'd, probably not. My guess would be no, but we're certainly gonna try. Okay, left is the black squares, right is the white squares. <laughs> I can do this. So the five pretty much, and it pretty much has to be this, right? Because the space around these numbers is gonna, yeah, it's gonna force all of that. Okay, there we go. We're getting we're getting value. We're getting the 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 bonus payout from our, our thing we just took. So we are to travel to the glass temple and the chambers of the triunes, which I suppose we can do.
Okay, if they're glowy like that, yeah, that means that means we've finished them already. Okay. I feel like the stuff around here we're going to have done. Oh, hey, that's a hidden ring though. Also this, this I don't believe we've done. Yeah, didn't we didn't we run right by these? You would think that I would have uh would have tagged these on the way to the temple. That is such a tiny sky drop. Oh I can crouch. Gosh, what what set of sky drops are you a part of? This, yeah, this, like, the chromatic upgrade I could see being useful, like, in this area where there's so many sets on top of each other. Oh, also, I'm going the wrong way, apparently. Jeez, yeah, what on earth... Okay, these are I was I was getting a lot of easy ones earlier. These are some legitimately confusing sky drops. All right, let's see if we can make this one happen. That's like pretty close already, isn't it? So you want the facey bits to open up a little become more sort of natural fruit shaped. And this thing in the middle needs to emit waves that are, like, bigger and fatter. I feel like that's getting pretty close. Yeah. That is 100%. Like, insofar as those are puzzles, they're very much puzzles by feel. Okay, all the dark cells must connect. Don't make that pattern. The Oh, and we, we're working in not actual grid shapes here. That's really interesting. So, like, this this whole shape has to be light to avoid making the 2x2. The two two. Yeah, that adds a new wrinkle. So this one has to be dark then for the 3. Which means this is light. Um, so that's five points already. All the dark cells have to connect. So actually this whole setup here has to be dark to get that, to get out of the corner. Which means you are like that. Uh, this must be dark, but then this must be light. This has to be light, otherwise we'd make a two by two. Uh, the dark is gonna have to run around here. Yeah, this, this, um, the uneven shape, shapes thing makes the don't make the two by two pattern restriction a lot more interesting. So right now we're pretty much connected. These don't necessarily, the dark shape doesn't have to necessarily connect here because it could go like around. Let me see here, the seven. So we have three now. If this is light, that turns into a six. If this was light, this would also be a six. This would also make it a six, which could seven down here like that that totally could be the shape of it it also could be this yeah like this the dark shape might block off here and just connect everything else through here uh, what else do we know um i guess okay this can't be light because it'll blow up the four and i immediately click the thing <laughs> but this must be light which means this can no longer be because then the now the shape is too big. So that's got to be the seven. 
Okay. This has to be light, so this has to be light, but this can't be light. There we go. That was a good one. That was fun. Okay, keep an eye out for the red box with all that stuff on it. Oh. Oh, I don't think I realized quite how much area there is down there. Holy how, how big is this game? I don't mean like in square footage necessarily. I'm just like, how many puzzles are... Okay, so this isn't awakened yet. We're not really supposed to be here, but I saw a hidden ring, so I went. This is all... Yeah, this is all not awakened yet. Oh, no, no. I'm allowed to do this. Okay, just to complete the pattern as it appears. That seems like a very easy one. Pattern grid mastery. Okay, so that looked a little different because it was a different kind of puzzle than we've done before. Yeah, I guess I kind of assumed that the area below the floating pyramid would just be like a, would just be like space, open space. But apparently not. Apparently that's not how things work here. Constant, constant little drip feeds of the game reassuring me over and over again. No, you're doing good. You're so smart. And me just, <laughs> me just unabashedly like, yes, thank you. Please, more, more. I need to be reassured. Oh, that's cool. That one's moving. Uh, no, turn it. I think it... Oof. Those ones are trickier. Those ones are a lot trickier. So there's another one of those light puzzles emblazoned on the ground here. I feel like I should probably get back to what we were doing and come back to this area later. There's so much stuff. It's so easy to get drawn into everything. I assume you have to use the... Um, the map extensively if you want to be a completionist at all because it's so easy to just like wander through and past and yeah okay we'll do one we'll do another one of these real quick i like these okay where else do we have do we have doubles well i guess also uh one space one is a pattern that you have to look for uh, so this is dark, dark light, dark light, dark light, dark. Uh, that one's light. And I have to take a second and try to remember which button is the light button. Keep those separated. Uh, that's got to be light. That's got to keep things separated again. Nope, that one's dark. That actually was a mistake. That wasn't just me pressing the wrong button. Uh, okay. It's very easy when you're trying to do them, when you're doing them quickly like that, it's very, very easy to get drawn into just like continue running the pattern. This one's dark, which makes those both light. It's got to be dark to keep that safe, so that's light. And we're almost done. Okay, this, this one has to be dark because of the verticality. Hey, that's pretty interesting. How 
how did we end up this far to this side of our goal? Ooh, that's a clever place to put one of those. Hey, wait. We know that symbol. Where the hell are we? Don't we know that symbol? I mean, there aren't... This one can't be all that hard because there's not that many places you could be while... Oh, that's the... That's it. Right, it's right there. <laughs> I could swear we've seen that symbol on a different pair of boxes, though. Or, wait, is this... Is this that temple? No, this is totally that temple. We just found our way back here again. Because I'm... Because I'm wandering very aggressively. It's not even really wandering. It's just sort of like a, a mad dash from place to place. No. Alright. That's pretty fast, and you need to not panic and lose your place. So the problem is a lot of these are like just, it's just barely more than one jump worth of distance. It's not really two jumps. Okay. They're messing with you is what it is. Okay. So there is this there is this light pattern that's burned into the floor here, and we probably ought to just finish this before leaving again because I think there's a really good chance that I will uh, forget and never come back here. But I'm trying to figure out like where is there more pattern? It must be something you're supposed to view from up top. Or are you part of, you can't be part of that. Huh. Interesting. It's not, this, those are two different patterns. Notice it did spend one of my super jumps when I hesitated and just held the button down for a really long time. Uh, and I think that sucks, because we didn't get to do that jump. There we go. There's that. Alright, so this... Ah, here we go. Here is the point of view for this one. Yeah, it had to be up here somewhere, right? There we go. Those are fun. I like the perspective puzzles. And I appreciate that they've come up with so many different ways to do some kind of perspective puzzle. Because I think it is a really, it's a good strength of their engine. Okay, well I think the problem might be that I'm not staying um, super focused on which goal I'm looking at. We have two different goals. And I think I'm just now realizing that I've been heading toward one of them sometimes. And the other one at other times. You two are different. But it's so easy to just be like, well, but what if I did this puzzle? What if we just ran over there and did that real quick? Well, obviously, that's got to be blocked off. All dark regions have area three. So that's finished then. Okay, that makes this dark. So this comes down here. This is also dark, which means that. So we have a dark region of area three there. Oh, these need to be covered. Uh, and then this will be dark. So or that'll be light. So this will create the three dark region. Okay. And then like that, so that that can be a region unto itself. And the 
these just each have their own little uh, their own little hang off. Oh man, we're almost level seven. The benefit of which is I know not what. I'm trying to find like where's a where's a sneaky place that you can see those from. Okay, that red cube has a very different shape on it. Ah, this one though is absolutely that one. Cool. Oh, 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 oh. Very neat. I will resist the urge to jump. Nope, not that. Mm -mm. I will resist the urge to jump in the giant, um, the giant geyser of wind to our right. Try to stay focused at least a little bit. Just as a you know, kind of a change of pace sort of thing. So I guess this also has to be dark. We know exactly where that two is and where that two is. There's probably some cool stuff over there. Staying focused. Ish, kind of, you know. Okay, uh, this pattern is, oh, I see. It's like diagonally tessellated to Traumanos. So that's light, that's light. And that means these are also light. Oh, well, maybe not, am I missing one? Oh, this should be light as well. That's yeah, like, okay. Those are cool, I like those. Very tempting to run off and do stuff. Oh, look at things. There's so many things. Wandering echoes linger on the edge of awareness. Yet in rare moments, an echo awakens into consciousness. Only those with the essence of mind can become seekers. What? Was that third sentence from a different speech? Or I rarely understand what you are trying to express to me, sir. Ooh, match three puzzles. That's cool. Yeah, I'll do a, I'll do a match three enclave. Ah. I mean, I just said I would do it. Okay, some swap, others not. Boy, that's very straightforward. <laughs> There's like a hidden block. Ah, there it is. Mm -hmm. Fell to my death. Sorry about that. Thank you, crazy voice. Yeah, once you're kind of tuned into the sound of them, I guess they're fairly obvious if you're close. Well, it's fairly obvious that you're close. Yeah, there's one around here somewhere. It sounds to me like it's above us. I suppose it could be underneath. Oh, wait, never mind. There it is. I might have been standing on it the first time, honestly. <laughs> okay. Match three, easy. So also, God, there's a lot of puzzles over here. 16 hidden cubes. 
Okay, so that doesn't... They do, they do slide together. There's like a Tetris element to them, okay. I was figuring that like that puzzle was going to have to change shape. Doesn't look like there's anything to be had off to the side here. Uh, okay, so I had to be prepared for a gravity element, try to solve them in a way that makes sense for a gravity element, except that it's actually not always present. Yeah, I really, really appreciate the music. It's just good, it's just good vibes. Uh, this is, hold on a second, that's not match three. The most important element of mastery is to realize that sometimes three is not three. Avoid making moves that would leave one or two of a color behind, because, you know, that's not three. Sometimes not three is good. Sometimes it's even critically important. But other times, not three is the worst thing you can be. She calls us the Numa. We brought life to this realm once again. But many of us are lost and formless, dancing like leaves carried by a half-knowing wind. I will find us all, the echoes that wander in the void. Whispers of Omiya the Friend, part four. I feel like I'm uh, maybe doing things out of order. But I mean, we were explicitly told to come here. Right, the UI, it was the UI's call. Oh. Okay, I was just kind of looking, I was just thinking, like, if I were a hidden cube, where would I be? And off to the side seems like a reasonable... Okay, these things. So, these sentinel pillars. Sentry pillars? Sentinel stones, perhaps? You stand on these, and you can see they draw a little line to you, and if you mouse over them, it lights up the line. But you have to be able to see the, the center of the pillar. And if you get them all lit up at the same time, then cool. Um, but like if, if you have one lit up and you move such that its line becomes blocked by one of the others, it does unlight. So you have to find the one, you have to find the spot where they all have. Oh, I'm missing that one. There we go. Yeah, you have to find the spot where they all, the center of each of them has line of sight to you. Uh, okay, well, that's going to be that drop. We don't want to eliminate these yet. These could go, though. There we go. It really is just about being careful not to not to accidentally orphan one or two blocks. Yeah, so okay, this will clear this whole pattern. Same deal here. I mean, these might not be the most difficult version of that puzzle ever conceived. Oh, that didn't work. Undo. Yeah, I was I was expecting that to grab the whole shape, but it's not doing that. Uh, all right, hold on. Got to make them align. Apparently, I honestly don't think I realized that was part of the rules of that puzzle. All right, you wait right there. There's 
there more than that? Oh, there's another one back there. You have to be on the platform, too, for it to count, so... Alright, let's try to do this real fast. Since I bumped into it. Okay. So this one, the answer might be somewhere in the middle, actually. Yeah, there we go. Those ones seem like they're they're universally pretty easy. It just it doesn't seem like they could be all that hard. Given the given the basic rules of them. So that's gotta get done now or else it's never gonna get done. See, this is a problem. Unless I'm allowed to slide this by itself, yeah. Hmm. So three up. Yeah, actually, we need to destroy the fives first. That's an interesting wrinkle to introduce. I don't know if I like those as much as the other ones. As much as some of the other ones. There's that thing. There are so many... This is fucked, right? There should be a puzzle here. Oh my, all my puzzle senses are screaming at me. Okay, so like in this case, it might be right to match these because we could still, even though it's not the whole pattern all at once, we could still get three later. Yeah, maybe, because then, right, that allows us to do this. This brings... Yeah, and then these bring the, uh... I don't know what to call these shapes. These bring those ones in closer, and then we get the drop. Yeah. I thought that was going to be a staircase or something. How do I get up there fast enough? Okay. You can jump up that surface. Oh, that was good enough, actually. Ooh. New upgrade available. Flying dive. That seems actually useful. Okay, so we need another 130 or so. Yeah, there really are a lot of hidden cubes around here. Can I get actually in this room? I can, but there's no reason to do so. All right, well, so when I do this swap, it's just gonna eliminate the the three of this like Y shape that are in the line, right? Yeah, okay. Then if we do that, that leaves those. Ah, but that leaves them not in a shape that's actually productive. If I do this, that's interesting. It's not right, but it's interesting. Yeah, hmm. This, I, I think I like this start. But how do we continue from here? How do I get these, these four where I need them to be is the question, really. So if I do this swap, I can only make this one further away, actually. That's obviously wrong for a huge number of reasons. Yeah. 
Yeah, interesting. The the H, the sort of the H shape, is really the sticking point on this one. What is the intent with these? Like if I get them all into different columns. Okay, swap this in and then I can kill all the Ys at the same time. No, this is right, this is right. Yeah, that was actually kind of tricky. And when I say kind of tricky, I mean, you just had to like, you just had to have a strategy. But not all of the ones before that required a strategy. A lot of the time it was just like match wherever you can. That was a cute little game. God, how are there so many puzzles in this space? This is crazy. Okay, so... Move these over to there. That separates that part of the puzzle off, but that's fine, actually. We definitely don't want to do this yet, because this will be stuck way off to the side. There we go. And then we can walk these over. Yeah, so you do have to think ahead at least a little bit on a, a fair number of these now. Uh, about where you are, where you are, or potentially going to orphan a piece and... Oh, wait, there's another echo. That's not, that's not the one we just did. No, it is. Yep, because that's, you just walked in a, you just walked in a tiny square. Okay, so a lot of this puzzle is going to be about walking this H over to the side. So to think about, like, all of our moves in terms of how do we put it in H. All right, one more Sentinel Stone, and we've got the Enclave main objectives clear. But why wouldn't I solve 34 match three puzzles? I ask you. It's maybe not. Maybe not the best use of our time, I guess. Uh, okay, so this one has... Yeah, this thing that can get walked all the way over. Like It's very easy to just do these swaps across and destroy the, the small columns of three here. And then when we do that, it's going to collapse the rest of these shapes. In a way that lets us walk, walk this thing back across. I wasn't 100% sure, which is why I stopped talking, but I was like, wouldn't that be a neat way if that's the how if that's how that puzzle worked? Right, sorry, we are getting our upgrades. We needed 500? Okay. You don't really get very many sparks per puzzle. All right, so that walks this thing over to the left. If we walk, if we walk the H all the way over to the left... I just want to make sure these are, these are all going to fall in a way that makes sense, right? Yeah, okay. There is something about the visual design of these things, and maybe maybe a little bit the audio, I just really want to touch them. I bet I like I know what they feel I know what they would feel like and I just want to touch them. This is gonna this is maybe gonna be a bit of a long shot, but any of you that have ever played Mexica, the board game Mexica, I'm expecting that they would feel like the stone pyramids from Mexica, which is one of the one of the like the most pleasantly tactile board game components that there is. Sorry, anyway. <laughs> So if we do this swap right right up front, we get this thing much closer to its the rest of its family. And we drop the H down to here. But like, does that Well, if I do anything to the ground below this though, I'm afraid these shapes are gonna become unclosable, so. 
But at least if I do this, then we create the situation where the H can walk across. Yeah, that's the part I was having trouble envisioning. Uh, was that there? Okay, I don't need to do all 34 of these on camera, I suppose. But let's at least clean up this room. How do I make these work is the question. Did I? I might have screwed that up already. I think that those have to be killed first because otherwise it's going to become impossible to line them up, I think. These have to get got, get got for the same reason. And then, yeah. Also, I have to be very wary of the shapes you're leaving behind because it is not necessarily possible to fix them if you get them out of whack. You know, very limited uh, number of moves on each of these things. All right, let's try to find another Sentinel Stones puzzle. See if we can't finish the main objective for this area, at least. There's a lot going on here, and also sometimes hidden cubes that are visible from a considerable distance. But here we go. You have awakened match three. What a silly way to do, <laughs> you know? So I guess I still don't, are, are, are the Mirabilis used to buy customization pieces or we're gaining customization stuff all the time just from increasing our masteries. You can buy more you can buy more stuff, but you buy it with sparks, which is the advancement currency, so I don't know why you would ever purchase anything. There's so <laughs> there's so many headpieces. So when we're unlocking stuff, we're not unlocking a thing, we're unlocking like a class of thing that are different only in their color, I guess. So what the hell do you do with the Mirabilises? Maybe it's like a system I haven't unlocked yet? Anyway, that seems useful. Additional rewards for not letting the Echo fly away. Ooh, that actually does seem like a legitimately useful uh, hinting piece. Reveal a secret Grandmaster time for each Flow Orbs course. Beat it to earn extra flow orbs. Ooh, that could be really nice too, actually. Maybe we should be advancing down that um, that path. Speedier rolling blocks. That's a kind of puzzle we haven't seen. Hmm. Okay. Warp beacons. That seems useful. Yeah, there's some cool stuff, but none of it has anything to do with Mirabilises, so I still have no idea on that. Wild. Something is familiar, as if I have been on this path before, repeating the same thing over and over again. Hi, Jello Axel. More islands up there. Uh, this this single place is absolutely huge. There are six more Sentinel Stone puzzles here. How do I? There we go. It's got to actually go through all the rings. If I could just get a little bit further over. Okay. There we go. 
Um, what I was going to say is, so this is where we're going to stop for right now, because, like, actually there's a ton, like, I could be at this for a while just doing this, this one little, I guess, like, instance area. This is not an instance. Obviously, there's another player here. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, this, it feels like this is this game's equivalent of a dungeon, right? This, like, island that's set off to the side that you get to with a, with one of those jumping things and... Yeah, this one is just, it's just absolutely huge. And I like that they, um, I like that they have different themes. I like that this is the, the match three one. And like, it suggests that, you know, you're in for a different sort of vibe. If you just, if you are not enjoying one area, you just leave and find yourself another, another jump a port. Gosh. Yeah. There's so much. Okay. I'm, I'm out of time is the thing. <laughs> so despite the fact that there are 15 more match three puzzles and another half dozen hidden cubes and all of these armillary rings and whatnot, this is where we're going to have to stop for today. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Am I just going to play through the entire damn game on camera for y'all? Maybe. Let me know if you have strong feelings about that, I guess, in the, in the comments, uh, if, the, if that is the thing you would like to see. Um, I'm having a really good time. I would not mind it. When you come back next time, we're going to pick up somewhere. I don't know. I don't know if I'll finish this one on camera or if we'll uh, just go back to the mainland. Again, if you have strong feelings, I guess leave them in the comments. And when you come back, we'll see you then. <laughs>